This your boy, Jimmy J. Smooth, live and direct in full effect out the 832. Y'all already know how I do. Uh, I was just, um, I had looked at the Tupac movie on Thursday. And my opinion on the Tupac movie, I think it was a great movie. From the directing on to the screenwriting to the acting. I just had one issue with it. And... It's a minor issue, but, you know, of course, Jada Pinkett felt some kind of way. And I feel her pain to some degree. But I'm going to get on her in a minute. But I felt they kind of did downplay how significant Jada Pinkett was. Because anybody who knows the bio of Tupac knows that Jada Pinkett is probably as close to Tupac as his mother. And... I, I felt they kind of downplayed it. I think they could have went into a little bit more details in the movie on how close he was to Jada Pinkett. You know what I'm saying? From a perspective of having her character in the movie a little bit longer, you know, because I felt like, you know, they did put the part in there about the poem and he read the poem to her, you know, which is historically inaccurate, especially, well, according to Jada Pinkett, because we don't know what happened truly because Tupac ain't here to tell his story. Uh, another slight bone I had to pick was I felt that Jada, they could have even asked Jada or got some advice on Jada from Jada because I felt like Jada should have some, some say in it uh, because she was close to him, number one. And number two, I think Jada has some form of power in Will, Comp Will Smith's uh, production company, which is Overbrook Entertainment. So I think they, the people that was organizing the studios or whoever, the production, Morgan Creek Productions, I think they could have gave more, gave her some, had had her put some input in the movie because her being close to Tupac was very significant. She was very significant. I think they could have made her role a little bit more significant than what it was because I felt like they only had her in the movie probably at very best, maybe seven to ten minutes, if that long. You know, they could have put E40 in there or people like Spice One because those guys were close to, to Tupac. You know, you know, I know they put Stitch in there. That much I do know. But I think they could have even Snoop Dogg's role could have been slightly insignificant, could have been more significant on how close they were. But it's hard to put all that into one movie. You know what I'm saying? I'm pretty sure with the Snoop Dogg. Because I, from what I understand, Snoop Dogg is supposed to come out with his own bio. I'm pretty sure they're going to uh, cover what the Tupac movie didn't didn't cover. Uh, but guys like Spice One, guys like uh, E40, Stitch, you know, even Tretch, they, you know, they were pretty cool. You know, Tupac knew hundreds of people. Uh, so... You know, it, it's one of those movies. I, I recommend go see it. I mean, I'm not shitting on the movie. This is not a beat up on Benny Boom. We definitely need to support black directors. I'm standing by that. I don't care what anybody says. You know, pe you know, people's talking about they have white writers. Okay, but how much control they got over the biopic? You know, how many re much residual they got over the biopic? That's what you got to look at. Also, you know, and people have a right to their opinion and have. A right to be somewhat speculative but I say still go support the brother uh, get behind the brother and uh, go watch the movie you know I felt the bio the movie was pretty good you know I know there's mixed reviews on Rotten Tomatoes but guys stop listening to Rotten Tomatoes because they have a history of suspected white supremacists fuck shit stop listening to these people and just go see the movie you know you know because the director still got to eat too the directors, you know, because we never know what what type of movie Benny Boom wants to be a part of. You know, he might want to do a do a real deal revolutionary type movie, and we're shitting on him due to the fact because of what how we feel. You know, we should get behind this guy as black people. You know, because the movie theater I was in, we it was damn near sold out. I think I could count at very best maybe ten seats available in the movie. But I have no problem with the movie outside of those little, outside of Jada Pinkett's significance in the movie. Because I felt 
that she is she wasn't as significant as she should have been. That's just my personal opinion. You know, they did speed through the movie, but I didn't have that much of a problem with them speeding through the movie. But I think they should have slowed it down to some degree because they were they were pretty tight. You know, you could put a, quite a few things in there. You could have put quite a few things in there, but I'm not the 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 nigga that's you could have did this type nigga. I'm not that type of guy, but that's the one thing they should have been more uh, detailed about out of everything, you know. So it is what it is. Once again, this your boy live and directed full effect out the A32. Y'all already know how Jimmy J smoothed it.